Jimmy, uh, welcome back to Corian. Um, it's been a bit of a mad 24 hours. Talk us through how it's been for you. Thank you. Yes, it uh, feels good to be back. Um, sort of went from sort of went from yesterday. There was sort of approach obviously from Corey in the dairy and whatever, and it ended up um, talking to me. Then that's really it's took off over the last 24 hours, and it's it's really gotten to the stage pretty quickly. I'm obviously from the Given, so dairy's dairy's pretty close and. It's something like growing up, I'd always seen Derry City games and obviously speaking to Jackie, Kieran Harkin, who used to be here as well, talking about the atmosphere and all in there. So it was, it was definitely nice to experience that and, and something that I've always wanted to do. First, like 18, 18 months probably of, of my time there was brilliant. I was scoring goals, but just sometimes in football, things don't work out. And last, last year was about to stop start between either not playing and then when I felt like I was starting to get into a bit of a rhythm and obviously I got a, a rib injury towards the end of the year and that sort of that sort of killed off the year for me really and I just had to think what I want from my career and um, I need to get back playing games and obviously working with Owen before it's it's one of the big parts in, on why I'm here. Yeah, yeah, great. Um, we, had a, we had a good charge at it in the summer and um, it probably just wasn't the right time for Jamie. He still felt uh, he had something to offer and, and felt uh, he had a part to play and, and I suppose it's it's tough mid-season to be able to do that. It, it, it's probably hurt us in a way where we struggled for goals this year. You know, Matthew has missed um, nearly a th two-thirds of, of our matches this season. He's carried a big weight um, of the goals that we've scored this year, or not this year, but the goals that we've scored in recent years. Even in the last few weeks when things, you know, things have been tough and things haven't been brilliant, I, I think we've still been creating chances and they're still, you know, even probably the second half on Saturday, we had a lot of good entries and a lot of good opportunities, um, but we just lacked that real killer edge uh, in those forward areas. And you know, we know Jamie inside out. Um, we've we've worked with Jamie before, um, and know exactly what he's all about, and, and that he thrives on those types of opportunities uh, and those moments. So, you know, to get him back uh, into the club, uh, we're delighted with. It was probably made clear that that my game time was might have been limited, and obviously Derry are going to be trying to sign an our striker and. Uh, no, but there, like as I said, there's no bad blood there. But I, I knew myself that, that it was probably time to move on. I think he proved that in the, in his, in the first part of his, his career here. There was there was a load of different types of goals that that were scored, and um, he's one of those ones. And there's quite there's few strikers you meet that are like him, where he's just so goal oriented it's frightening. Where it's even my memories in the past of training and stuff like that was he just couldn't wait to do the crossing and finishing and the shooting aspect of it and. And to be fair to him, him worked really, really hard at that aspect of it where you know, he knew all the other parts of the game were important but I think he prides himself on his ability to score goals and the goals that he scores and he worked tremendously hard at that in his first time here and, and for me, like I think he's, he's 26, you know, he still has his best years ahead of him and his prime ahead of him and you're hoping that all those experiences that he's gained you know, since, since he's been here moving on to Crusaders and then on to Derry City, um, he'll be back an even better player than he left. So it's exciting times for the club now. Obviously, speaking to Owen and the and the plans for that in the full time and this and the whole investment. Like even though I wasn't at at the club for the past few years, now I always keep an eye on it. I still have friends here, and the results the results probably have been indifferent. But if you look at it as well, there's been a lot of key players out injured, and they probably through the spine of the team. And there's been players missing. If you do that to any team, they're going to struggle. But I think it's about now trying to kick on, trying to maybe get it, start with a good cup run starting Friday night and and push towards them European places and. Um, go on the full time next year and see if we can kick on. Because we've worked with Jamie before and have such a good relationship with him and I suppose I've always kept in contact with him you know, throughout the different aspects of his career. Um, but also probably more for me, Jamie's attitude towards the whole thing has, has, been, has been refreshing also where um, you know, I think he's highly appreciative of, of what Corian's done for him in the past and, and how it allowed him to springboard on um, to a full time regime at, at Derry City and, and in the League of Ireland. Um, but he also, you know, it hasn't been the, the, the last, I suppose, six months to year has been frustrating for him and, and I think for me, and we've talked about it already, you know, Jamie's psyche and his mentality is all based around scoring goals and doing that and it hasn't been, it probably hasn't at the pitch time, it hasn't been on the pitch as much as he would want to be. So to me, not only are we getting someone coming into the best part of his career, but there should also be a driving hunger there of that. Um, the last six months to a year has probably hurt him in a way that he wants to get back out there and show everybody what he can do. Oren's had a massive part to play in my career, obviously giving me the chance at the start and something that sticks with me still to this day. I played a game here for the reserves, it was against Glentoran reserves at the time and Oren was down watching so obviously everybody wanted to play well and impress. 
and I actually scored a hat trick that night. So I was coming into the changing room thinking, happy days, I've done myself good. And he came in and first thing he asked me was, but how many chances did you have? And I had maybe six or seven shots. And he says, it's under 50%, that's not good enough for the Irish League. And that sort of made me realize, right, you know, I need to get to work here. But obviously then now coming back, he was, he was probably the, the main part why, why I'm back here to get to work with him again, me and him work well together he knows he knows what I like and and sort of and sort of what what's needed to get me going so hopefully I can work again we can pick up where we left off so, so obviously that injury I picked up towards the end of the season the ribs it sort of didn't get to do nothing really until maybe the end of November but the whole through of December I've been training three or four times a week myself and like we were I was on there with Derry last week doing testing and that and all my numbers seem good and done the yo-yo test and I've got good results so probably get a good base. Obviously I'm not going to be match sharp because I haven't played a match in a few months but that'll come with time. Um, you're down just to international clearance I think is, is the key thing so um, ideally we've, we've got this part of it done in, in good time and which now allows us you know hopefully that um, the powers that be at the football associations um, can ensure that, that we'll get that clearance so you know, sometimes those things go smoothly sometimes they don't but all we can do is give it the best possible chance. That I'm excited to be back and I can't wait to get going obviously I've scored goals here before and I'm hoping they Hoping to kick start the season back here now. Fantastic. Jim, thank you for chatting. I'm looking forward to see how you get on this season. Thank you.